Afternoon 804. My name is Brett Heggie. I am a first degree black belt in judo. Uh, here we have Coach Teddy Berto. Uh, today we are going to show you a very fun judo throw. Um, this throw here, just going to give you a little background, it is one of my favorite uh, setup throws. It, is, it will open up a million different possibilities after you learn it pretty well. Uh, the throw is going to be called Kosoto Gari. So a minor outer reef. So we get our grips, get to switch ones real quick. Now we are going to be doing a judo dance on our sleeve side. So we are going to be getting the feel for when our partner is going to be stepping. Now as he steps, I am going to turn my hand like I'm revving a motorcycle. I'm putting my palm out and he's going to feel, he should feel tightness in the sleeve. As he steps forward, I am going to try to put as much weight as possible right over that foot that steps forward. So he steps. He should feel heavy on that foot. Feel heavy? Yeah. So now, my right foot. One of the cardinal rules in judo, we don't cross step typically. Um, this throw, it is the exception, one of the exceptions to the rule. Cross step. As you can see, I'm on the ball of my foot, and I'm going to spin on it. My big toe is going to eventually point ahead of his little toe. So turn. Left foot comes in, right behind. I want to continue until he comes back down to the ground. So the kind of key principles here again, you want to get the feel for your partner as he's moving. As he's stepping forward, get ready to rev the engine and put the weight right over that foot. As you can see, you can tell his foot's out of the foot as his body is starting to turn a little bit. You cross step, follow the foot, rotate in, come in, and continue. Now, that is the traditional way to do it uh, as far as demonstrations and testing goes. Now, if you want to use this in competition as a setup, one of the natural reactions when you attack someone's foot is he wants to lift up and get out of the way. Step right back. Here, it sets you up because as he steps back, as he lifts that foot up, it leaves you open to be able to pull him up. Get a nice little pull. Now, this back, pull, and you can do a society. To the person right across, as is still continuing the motion, the circle. Now, one of my favorites for this, though, I attack the left side, the opposite side. So I have him on the power side. Cross up and attack. As he steps, I push. Feel it? Yeah. Yeah, see? See, when you do that, you keep. Your body, just go and base camera real quick. And he steps. You stand with your own arm between his body and yours. You don't necessarily have to throw anybody or know any good clean throws. You just have to push. And I'll go right over that pinky toe. Step back a little bit. Again, he steps, attack. Sandwich, come in, and you just push over. And the idea of that is, when you look at the pinky toe, your body weight, it's fine with staying pretty balanced over the first few toes, but as soon as you go over that angle with that pinky toe, you can't take it. You just hit the ground, and that is a Thank you guys, see you guys on the mat.